I attended Cicero School, now known as Cicero East, and Morton East High School. Um, I had really good teachers that really impacted me as a student growing up. And they all pushed me along this path to be an educator. So I'm really uh, grateful to the experience that I had and the people that I had the opportunity to interact with. Anthony has dedicated his career to improving the educational system in Cicero. He's coached, mentored, volunteered. He's always looking for an opportunity to make an impact and facilitate change. My initial vision was to go into education, although I ended up graduating with a public policy administration degree and then went back and was certified to teach. From there I went and I coached at a, different, a couple different schools, but Cicero always remained my home. Recently, Anthony made a comment about leadership. It was that leadership is not about being the best. Leadership is about making everyone else better. And this accurately describes him. You'd be hard pressed to find someone more proud and passionate about the growth and development of the Cicero community. I taught at Morton East High School and then I actually became administrator at Morton East High School. And Rudy Hernandez, our superintendent, um, he was a principal at Morton and he came over to District 99. And the opportunity to work for Rudy to come to this district present itself and uh, it was just an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. Anthony brags to anyone who will listen about the community changes taking place in Cicero. He is so proud to be a part of all of it. My mother started out as a lunch lady and then she became a program assistant and retired as a program assistant. My father was a custodian. Um, he became a head custodian of the district and retired from the district. And that experience, that, that uh, experience with parents who were uh, in those kind of more blue collar roles in the school district, but their relationships with teachers and administrators and other people, um, where you treated and respected everybody, that's something that the school district embodies and it's something that we do today. Uh, in Cicero, our surnames may change, but the people stay the same and the people here want the absolute very best for the kids. That's why I'm so excited to be here as we ignite the road to excellence. It's a true representation of community. Right, what do we need to do to enhance our community, to support one another? Thank you for everything you do for our community. Keep up the good work. Congratulations, Anthony, on everything you do for District 99. Everyone appreciates the hard work and the dedication. If you talk to Anthony for at least five minutes, you know if you cut him, he'll bleed Cicero. He also just recently got his doctorate, so congratulations on that. You make me very proud to be part of the Grazini family. You are intelligent very hardworking, you love the Cicero community, and more than anything, you are just a wonderful, caring individual. Raz, I've known you 45 years of my life, and you, you consistently still amaze me on your hard work and your dedication to the students, the faculty, the community, and in our town of Cicero. We're right here at Unity, where Mom used to work. Uh, I hear they're giving awards out to anybody these days. I'd like to personally congratulate you on behalf of the rest of the family for coming back to the town, giving back to the community, giving back to the school district. Yeah, congratulations on your award. We know how dedicated you are to your community and its residents. We are proud of you. We love you. Congrats, Dad. Way to go.